How but should I dress, honey? Casual. But? But, like, not in PJs. <laughs> We um we're going on a date night and um and I told him how should I dress and because he won't tell me where we're going and um he's like just you know dress cash and I'm like what does that even mean dress cash like you need to tell me we're gonna be outside or we're gonna be inside or I should I wear pants should I wear a skirt so a dress what does it mean to be casual and then, so I think we're having a picnic. I think I got him to tell me that much. That's pretty much it. So, so I, so I said, should I wear like tights if we're just gonna be on the floor in the dark? And then he's like, well, dress casual. What does that mean? <laughs> so I have no idea what I'm going to wear. I don't have idea what I'm gonna wear when I know exactly where I'm gonna go and under what weather conditions. So when you throw something like that to me, I'm like, what the hell? So let's see what I could do. Because we're leaving in 10 minutes, so. <gasps> ah! That was dramatic. I apologize. Hi everyone, so we're on our date night. Um, Nancy had to use the potty, so we had to get off the freeway. But um, we're gonna go see a movie at a drive-in. She's never been, and she said she wanted to go. And she hates not knowing, so it's kind of a surprise. I don't know if she suspects it, but the camera says it's going to die. So I don't know how much of this it's going to catch. But we're going to a drive-in. Shh. Don't tell her. Mystery solved, guys. Oh, it, there it is. The, so I figured out that we're going to the movies. To the drive-in. We're not going, well, we to are, but we aren't. She said, wow. I've never been to the drive-in. I want that experience. It's been years since I've been saying that, and he's barely taking me. And, yeah, and so, so here we are. I'm excited, you guys. I've never been to a drive-thru, a drive-in. <laughs> I'm depressed. He always makes fun of me every time. I'm like, oh, this is new to me. This is new to me. And he's like, you're so deprived. We used to do this as kids all the time. Like, I, I would even say, like, oh, yeah, my mom. Like, don't you we're... remember you open the back of the hatchback and then, like, you put a blanket in there and then, like, and then you attach that thing to your antenna? Me growing up, we literally went to the movie theater, I think, three times in my whole childhood. And one time it was the my, never the drive-in, but the actual, the, the, just the movies, just three times in my whole childhood. And then, um... Yeah. I figured she knew, but she was trying to play it off like she didn't, but she... I kind of suspected it when I was trying to figure out what it was, and then he's like, okay, let's go get snacks. So I was like, trying to play it off as like a concert at the park. Yeah, but then I'm like, there's no concerts at the park yeah, right is. now. Like right now? Like, anyways, like I would have heard of it. Anyways, if I would have told her, she would have said, no, I don't want to go. You would have said, let's go eat. Yeah, I don't know. I think so too. I think I want to do stuff sometimes, but then the day comes and I'm like, ugh, like let's just cuddle. But no, I'm glad, I'm happy. What are we watching? I Is it? Know. He doesn't even know you guys. He doesn't Maybe even Dory's know. playing. I'm excited! It's like two combo movies. This is like, I because I don't like, I don't really care for the movies, you guys. I don't because I just think it's like, I don't know. I just don't care to go to the movie theater. But I think this is the best of both worlds because you're comfortable in your seat. And I think that's my biggest thing that I can never get comfortable. I have really bad back problems. So I'm, when I'm at the movie theater, I can never get comfortable. I feel like I'm constantly that person that keeps moving and bothering people. And so I just, and then I just sit there and then I hurt myself. And so I feel like this is, would be the best. Look at my little drink. <laughs> I, look at that. We stopped and got me a... So someone just cut off someone and then they started yelling. 
yelling at each other, telling each other bad words. And then he said, get out of your car, homie. And then so we'll he got out of his car. He got out of his car, but then he went inside. Yeah. Because it's not even like he cut him off. It's that he's cutting to get in the line to get into the drive-thru. I mean, the drive-in. Meanwhile, like, we've been in line for, like, fucking ever. So. So this is what Nancy wanted to come to. I'm like, it's not that great, honey. It's not that great. It's amazing, you guys. We're having a great time. We're having a great time. So we might get shanked. Yeah. Seriously? Okay, get your Big Mac. We brought Big Macs. We're ghetto like that. Hey guys, so we are leaving the movie theater. It is late. We um, ended up seeing, I wanted to see Dory. Um, what should I see? Where's the code? Now you see me. Now you see me part dos. It was actually really, really cool. We really liked it. So it was. Uh, uh, and then the next one was X Men. But it is like 11 o'clock. And um, it's not super late. But when we asked for the babysitter, we only asked for dinner plans. Because I didn't, I, I didn't know. So that we were going to go to the movie theater. And so I'm like, we need to get home to the baby. Like, I know she's already asleep, but someone needs to be there, you know? And since I only asked for a babysitter for part of the evening, not the entire evening, I think it's only fair that we head back home. So we are headed home. Um, we had a little detour because we had to go pee and it didn't even open. So, um, but we are headed home. And it was, you know what? Like, I know a lot of people are going to say, like, okay, you did it, you realize that you really don't like it, and then you like it. I loved it. I think that's how we should all watch movies. The